Joining me today in the studio is Dr. Michael L. Wise, a, ph a physicist and expert in mathematical model techniques, who has actually been conducting independent demographic research on the West Bank. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So this is very interesting. Now, your numbers differ from the expected numbers touted by the U.S. State Department and the United Nations, correct? Correct. Now, why is that the case? The United Nations, the CIA, and the State Department uh, take their numbers directly from the Palestinian Authority, and those are numbers which were calculated by the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics. In fact, we met with people at the CIA and the State Department several years ago, and we asked them if they were interested in the actual real numbers. They looked at our work. They were very impressed, but they indicated that their mandate is to accept data released by local authorities. And the people in charge there had no right or opportunity to update or upgrade the data that they so, published. So how off are these numbers and, and why is that the case? They're significantly out of, uh, out of balance. Uh, the numbers that are generally quoted uh, both by demographers in Israel, uh, people at the Hebrew University and at Haifa University, uh, t are taken directly from the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics uh, the Israel Central Bureau of Statistics. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm interested in understanding how you independently gather the research, but again, I, I mean, the question here is why is this number being puffed up as, as you're saying it is being puffed up? Well, I think we all remember that uh, Yasser Arafat had several weapons in his portfolio, and one of them was that the w womb of the Arab woman would eventually destroy and bury the Jewish state. Okay. In order to justify those claims, uh, the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics started putting forth data which was totally uh, fantastic. It was imaginative. Now, so how have you independently gathered research? Okay. Going back to 2004, uh, I joined with uh, Bennett Zimmerman uh, another American, not a demographer, but a student, uh, Harvard uh, Business uh, School, etc. And Joram Ettinger helped us collect data. And we did an analysis which determined that the population as of the end of 2005 uh, on the West Bank was approximately 1.4 million people rather than the 2.5 or 2.6 million people that were publicized by the Palestinian Authority. And the process is actually not that complicated. Um, in demography, if you have a starting point, which was the number that the Israel Central Bureau of Statistics had calculated, uh, as of 1995 was the latest number that we had, you then count the number of births, subtract the number of deaths, count the number of people who enter the country, and subtract the number of people who were left. And each year, you can determine what the actual real population was. Okay? Interesting. And we did that each year from uh, 1997, 98, 99. And we do that on an ongoing basis. Uh, and we can verify those numbers by checking school records, by checking population uh, uh, voter, voter records, uh, we get information with respect to entry and exit from the Israel uh, border authorities, and you come up with a number. Now, your claim and your findings are that the Palestinian population in the West Bank is inflated by one million people, correct? Correct. So does, I mean, this is a question here, does it mean that Israel can annex the West Bank without seriously compromising its own Jewish demographic? Well, as we're sitting here today, the ratio of Jewish population to Arab population, taking Green Line Israel and the West Bank, is a little better than two to one. It's 67% Jewish, 33% non-Jewish. Okay. About two years ago, that number turned a corner. Namely, there's positive demographic Jewish momentum. Namely, year to year, on an ongoing basis, the percentage of the Jewish population is increasing. And that is important data for anyone making decisions as to 
how to deal and how to resolve uh, issues with respect to the West Bank to have the facts. Okay, it's, it's kind of remarkable that there are people walking around today, uh, and I got calls from people who were sitting in APAC a few weeks ago, and they said, Mike, what's going on? Uh, there's someone from the uh, Bougie Herzog who was making a speech at APAC in Washington, proclaiming that as of today, there's a majority of Arabs versus Jews in Yehuda Shomron, the West Bank, and Israel. Therefore, one must conduct policy in a certain way. Okay. Right. Well, I'm, it seems, you know, as though the work that you're doing is going to be very eye-opening to the world. The question is uh, whether people are going to take these numbers as the truth, right? Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.